Well, hello everybody and welcome to Life at Home. This is Paul. And this is Jeannie and it's Saturday, May 16th, 2020. All right, we've hit the weekend. We've Tomorrow the weekend. is our service at four o'clock. I hope we, well, I, you know, I want to say, see I hope you, we but see you there, nice. but you know, anyway, be there or be square. How's that? <laughs> so we've uh, completed the Beatitudes, and, mm -hmm. and now we're going into another little bit of a study. Tell, tell us where we're at. Well, um, like I said last time, I, I, I want to hear Jesus' voice. So yeah. here's another opportunity for us to listen to him teach his boys. Uh, they asked him a special question. Lord, teach us to pray. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with this, but we're going to read through it quickly today, and then we're going to zoom in on the first statement. Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Jesus answered his disciples and said, In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us in temptation but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. He makes me cry. I don't know why. <laughs> it is such a beautiful prayer. And if yeah. you tune into it, I mean, like you said, you want to hear Jesus. Well, Jesus is all over that prayer. Yeah. Giving us that instruction. So we're going to look at the first portion of it today. And uh, he said, in this manner, therefore pray. And I'm sure all of you, like me, have had times where you've like, I don't even know how to pray. And so this is his example for us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And what popped out was, first of all, the word our. Uh, he's our Father. He's your Father. He's my Father. If you belong to Jesus, we have access to the Father in heaven. And he says that we're to call him our Father. And the word father, uh, because it's uh, he's our father, it's the word that is used that means Abba or daddy. So it's a very mm -hmm. personal father. And I was thinking about that this morning when I was going over these verses. And I know with my dad growing up, my father, which I refer to him as father oftentimes, when I, all my life, I could call him daddy. Hey, daddy, you know, because he was my father. My sister called him daddy. My brothers called him daddy and dad when they were older. But there isn't anybody else I know that called our father daddy. It was just our family because we belonged to each other. And when we become Christians, we belong to God's family and we have that personal connection with the father can go straight to him. And the other word that popped out is hallowed be your name, which is I looked up in Webster's and it says to regard with fear mingled with respect and affection. Just a <laughs> total was, awe. Yeah, awe, awe of God, God, to worship him for who he is. And I know it changed my life when I started studying God's character. He's all powerful, all loving, and I went through all the attributes of God. And that's who you're talking to when you pray. You know, I know that uh, <clears throat> it even came up the prayer meeting last night on Zoom that uh, you know when we wash our hands at this time we're supposed to take uh, 20 seconds to do it right and it takes about 20 seconds to pray the our father so there's a good hint for you when you're washing your hands to pray the our father and hopefully after going through this with us the next few days it'll be even more special to you yeah. as you do that i think it's tremendous uh, for me i just right to the start uh, the disciples heart they must have seen jesus pray Mm -hmm. They saw him pray before miracles. They saw him pray before healings and pray before the loaves and fishes were multiplied. They must have thought, can we do that? Mm -hmm. You know, how, how do we do that? How mm -hmm. do we pray like that so effectively? And then I think that should be our heart. Uh, Lord Jesus, teach us today, this day. Start teaching us right now, Lord, how to pray. Because I know we're going to need prayer and the friends around us and our family is going to need our prayers as well. I also look at it as a tremendous invitation that uh, Jesus didn't say, uh, teach you to pray. What do you mean? You guys are not professionals. <laughs> you know, <laughs> come back when you know a little bit more. You know, he just says, all right, here's how I want you to do it. Here's how 
it'll be effective. Here's how it reaches the throne of God. And uh, it begins with uh, the acknowledgement of God, our Father, just like you said. And who he is. He's yeah. the all-powerful yeah. God of the yeah. whole universe. Nothing's too hard for him, and you're coming to him with your requests. Yeah, you can come Puts to everything him. in perspective. You can come to him right now. And you start out with worship when you come to him. Hallowed be your name. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whispers of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. I For answers far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers. Only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. Who you are, it's who you are. of your presence on account of Jesus just letting us in the front door by simple faith in him. And Lord, we, uh, we humbly ask now that you would meet each one of us in prayer time. I pray, Father, that each one listening would turn right now to prayer, to worship you, to hallow your name, Lord, to call you Daddy because of faith in Christ. Bless each here, our Father. Encourage each one. Holy Spirit, do your comforting work right now in the hearts of all. For we pray these things in Jesus' wonderful name. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow at four.